If someone tells that a secret society known as the Freemasons rule all the religions, inclusive the Jehovah's Witnesses, you might know is true. But if you tell it to a Jehovah's Witness, and if you mention that their organization is ruled by Freemasons all along the Watchtower Society, since the individual congregations to their governing body they will not believe, and as a defense they will say that it is not more than disinformation. However, if you really want to convince them you have to show this video and reflect on the real story which will be present here with proper evidence. It has been already reported in another video which has been re-uploaded by us, that David Woodfield an elder of Jehovah's Witnesses Epsom congregation has committed criminal offenses and several civil wrongs, which can not be tolerated within Jehovah's Witnesses. David Woodfield had forged documents which he supplied to the courts, and has been stealing his own brothers by denying their labor rights. However because he is a free mason nothing can ever happens to him. One of the victims of David Woodfield's misconduct is a former cleaner, who has been trying to call the attention to this very serious problem, however without success. For three times he already left in-person letters to the service department of the Jehovah's Witnesses branch exposing Woodfield's criminal conduct. However someone inside Bethel caught the letters and thrown him away, impeding the service department of dealing with the problem, and expel David Woodfield from the congregation. As usually would happen to any other witness. The last time he contacted the Jehovah's Witnesses branch in the United Kingdom it was even denied telephone access to the service department. In order to avoid reporting some wrongdoings from his own elders. Please pay attention to the following conversation between the victim and a member of the public information desk. Hello, you're through again to the public information desk. Oh, but that's the wrong department. I want to speak with the service department. I'm afraid we can't put you through to legal or the service department. Uh, this is a personal matter between you and someone else, I'm afraid. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's a personal matter between me and the elders. They are blocking me to speak. I need to reach this, the, the overseer and the service department will be the link. I'm afraid there's nothing further we can do to help. Right. You are in the public de information desk, isn't it? We will not be putting you through to the legal department or the service department. So you're denying me access to the service department? I'm not denying anything. I'm simply saying you have a personal issue, which is not for us to become involved in. Right. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. That's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. It is very obvious that the Freemasons already infiltrated their own agents there inside. The Public Information Desk is a department which deals with the press and any other public inquiries done about Jehovah's Witnesses, and if some of the inquiries are about David Woodfield, or any other Mason who has been identified, they would manage the case in a way to prevent any damage caused to them. Basically the Public Information Desk is playing a role which will result in cover up both the presence and the wrongdoings of the Freemasons inside the Jehovah's Witnesses organization. Some members of the branch committee are also Freemasons. And those are the ones who give instructions for the branch not getting involved in a matter between a victim and any elders who are Freemasons. The cover up starts from the top. But as we had mentioned minutes ago, the great problem resides inside the congregations. The main victim of Woodfield's wickedness attends to the congregation in Morden, southwest London. And recently he had approached to its coordinator of the body of elders, with a request to move to Epsom congregation. However it was denied with the false excuse that was the body of elders of Epsom who were not willing to accept his publisher's card.
Please pay attention to the voicemail message left by Tim Eagles, the coordinator of the body of elders from Morden to the victim. First, new message. Good morning, Amadeo. It's Tim here, and Morris is with me. Just to let you know, we've been dealing with your request for your record cards to be moved to Epsom. But I have to inform you that the body of elders at Epsom are not willing to accept your record cards because of the difficulties that there have been. So at the moment, um, you're able to come to Morton Congregation and, and to worship. We're entirely happy uh, for you to do that. Um, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the meeting, if you're able. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye, brother. After the victim had listened to this message he decided to contact Peter Davy, who is the coordinator of the Body of Elders in Epsom Congregation and asked him straight if what Tim Eagles had said was true. Please pay attention to the following dialogue. Well, that's the thing. He told me that the decision was made by the Body of Elders of Epsom. What? So is that true? What did he say, sir? <laughs> Peter, that's not an answer. Because <laughs> if he said so, no, I, 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 I'd like to hear from you because uh, you are the coordinator of the body of elders of... I'm just, a, I'm just another elder. Uh, I'm just one elder in you know, a body of elders. And if he has told you that, then that's suffice, isn't it? That's, that's it. It's, that is the decision. So you, you, know, you have to accept that. Right, so the decision was made. That's what I want to know. The decision was made by the body of elders from Morden or the body of elders from Epson. If what Tim has told you today, mm. I can't enlarge on. Because that is related to me. I should know. Well then, really, um, you're going to have to possibly go, um, you know, a, 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 a look. It is obvious that Peter Davy was taken by surprise and was not prepared to answer to the victim's quest, therefore he preferred to push the question to someone else, instead of answering himself. Moving to Epsom congregation would give the victim the opportunity to resolve the issues directly with David Woodfield and on the other hand would give him a chance to present the evidence he has against him to the body of elders who would start a judicial hearing against him resulting in Woodfield's disfellowshipping. Once the victim could not move to Epsom this matter remains unresolved, and a criminal such as David Woodfield still use the word of God to teach from the platform and making decisions in the congregation which he should not be entitled any more. But that is not all. Once the victim was not allowed to move to Epsom congregation, he decided to wait for the visit of the circuit overseer to explain the scope of the problem, and get a change on that decision. In order to resolve the never-ending number of issues he has with David Woodfield. Because the pandemic all the Jehovah's Witnesses meetings have been happening by Zoom. It would be very unlikely that the victim had a chance to speak with the overseer, therefore he asked Tim Eagles for the codes to sign in into the field service meetings. In which he could have direct contact with him. However, Tim Eagles was delaying it. Hello, good morning, Brother Eagles. It's some Brother Amadeo here. Good morning. Good morning, Brother Eagles. It's Amadeo. Yes, so um, last Sunday we spoke that um, yesterday you sent me the details for the field service meetings. You failed. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I said I'll send them to you. The field service begins on Wednesday. It isn't today. The, the talk, uh, the, the visit begins today. The meetings for field ministry are, are announced. Uh, it's scheduled, and I'll make sure that you've got those so that you can join on Wednesday. Uh, but I don't have the details. 
side. No, no, I said I, I will make sure that you've got them. Okay, so, um, yeah, because I need to plan the whole week based on that. Please send me as soon as I can. Right, right well, we'll plan the week. But, 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 but once you've got the numbers, you've got the numbers. It doesn't stop you planning anything, does it? You just need the numbers which I will send to you so that you can join the ministry for Wednesday if that's what you want to do. Right, so you don't have it at hand right now? Amadeo, Amadeo, I will send it to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've told you that. Yeah, but you, you, you told me it'll send yesterday. But no, I said I will send it to you, Amadeo. You need it for Wednesday. It isn't Wednesday. Okay, I understand, but I need it as soon as I can. No, you just need it before Wednesday, Amadeo. All right, okay. Send you, when you whatever you like. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. After this conversation, on the same day two other elders called the victim with some pretty bad news. that Tim Eagles had promised him that he would send him the sign-in codes for the field service meetings, but as we just heard now he is not allowed to take part on it. Despite being a baptized Jehovah's Witness for 31 years, it is obviously an attempt to prevent him of speaking out to the circuit overseer things that those elders don't want him to know. But after all, who are the elders in modern congregation who are Freemasons? Tim Eagles is a Freemason since April 2018. Morris Burgess has been a Freemason for many, many years. Mike Witcher has been also a Freemason for long, long time even when he was serving in Epsom congregation, which explains the bad reputation he still have in there. Neville Richards was already a Freemason, even before he joined Jehovah's Witnesses, and that explains why he was raised so quickly in order to become an elder. Since the moment there are so many Freemasons in each congregation we're not surprised that this things happen so often, and Jehovah's Witnesses become just like any other religions. <laughs> 